guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a nursery tour for my nursery 2020 update so my nursery changes quite a bit especially with all the prams that I have but I've just done like a little makeover and changed all the colors of everything so I'm going to show you what the nursery looks like right now so starting at the door we're gonna come in and go this way this cupboard is still here, my cubes are still here. Like just a quick overview, this is all, like the furniture has kind of stayed where it was. This is how I keep my pram, so many people ask that. <laughs> these, um, I added these cubes in down here, which you saw in the last, like the Renault. Stage, but I just wanted to show you like everything in the drawers and what's where. So the Mima, and behind the Mima is a silver cross, and in the cup is a silver cross seat. I don't know why, that's just kind of being put there for now and it works. Like Liberty's happy and fine there, and there's enough room to put it down there, and it's not in the way. And my little shelf. I have not known what to put on this the whole time, so <laughs> I just decided I got some of my mom's antique toys and I think that that kind of looks cute until I can find what I'm going to put on it. One question that I get asked so often is where do I store all my prams? So it used to be here and here, but obviously as my collection has expanded, I put the Versa here that has the donkey hood on it. I really just love the donkey hoods. <laughs> so I've put all like the donkey stuff in this corner now. So that one kind of goes there. And then I have the buff in this corner. And how cute is this little bow that I've made? It's like a matching pram liner set. So we have like the Dumbo bassinet liner, the Dumbo belly bar cover, and the Dumbo little bow. It's sitting a little wonky. Anyways. Then we have the bugaboo donkey over here and this has my little sloth um, belly bar and I made this little liner to go with it because I felt like it was going to be too much if it was all sloth and then it has this blanket and this little teether toy and that's Mr. Onyx and that is Miss Alora. Then I have my Avengers with the grey. It's kind of tricky with the, <laughs> the light out there, but I also need the light in here. So you guys are just going to have to deal with that. Then I have the Mima that kind of sits in the middle of the room, but I'm still able to get from the door into my desk. And if I do so, then I take them out of the room and I'll show you where I put them. Then over here I have this silver cross. This has always been the bugaboo spot or the single bugaboo spot, but um, ever since the hoods have come over here, I like to keep them all together. So now the silver cross goes in here, and it looks super cute. We have this really large back room where you kind of like walk through the house and there's plenty of space here. So um, like we've got all this room here to walk, <laughs> this huge round map. Uh, Any time I want to use the nursery and do other stuff in there, I just put all the prams out here. I mean, they have wheels, so it's really easy to just walk them out and they're out of the way, they're not like in anyone's walking path and basically the cabinets are just for like display. And this is my other pram. It stays out here with all the old stuff in it. <laughs> so this room here is kind of like my overflow slash spillover room. It's, um, it's not necessary, but if I'm over at this house and I have a pram or something, I would just chuck it in here. Like for instance, this car seat right here, I found it on the side of the road and my neighbor is at school still and she asked if we seen any car seats or prams or anything like that, um, either at secondhand shops or whatever. If she could have them because she's going to take the real care baby home soon. So I saw this car seat on the side of the road. I grabbed it and I just want to like put a disclaimer here that you should never pick up car seats off the side of the road and use them for real children because you don't know the condition. So right here we can see there's like a piece of the foam that's like come out. 
So I don't know if that was knocked or if it's been an accident or what the go is, but for a doll, it is perfectly fine. I also found this Baby B liner. There was actually a Baby B pram next to it. And it had the frame, the seat, and the hood and the liner and everything, but the back wheels were missing. So I couldn't grab the pram. I don't think I could find back wheels for it. So I just decided that I would instead make this like a capsule and then I can donate it to the school and then all the students will be able to take the baby home in this capsule because I believe that that school doesn't have anything for you to take the babies home in. So I figure this one capsule could help. I know it sucks that it's pink, but you got to, you win some and you lose some. Be thankful. That's all I'm saying. And yes, this is my second donkey that I have just stored in here. It's all washed and ready to go. I made these custom pram liners for it. And basically I got this pram because I wanted, she had the pram which had two seats, this seat and this seat, a bassinet, two belly bars. Uh, it came with three hoods and it came with three hood rods and clamps. So these are the hood rods in here, these hard bits. And these are the hood clamps here that holds on to the, the pram frame. And she wasn't wanting to separate the third set of hood rods and the hood. I didn't want the hood, I just wanted the hood rods. But anyway, so she's like, no, those hood rods are for that hood and you have to swap it over with those hood rods. And I was like, but you can just like take them out and swap them. And it was just, I just couldn't be bothered. So I just bought the whole pram <laughs> and took whatever I wanted off it. And now I'm just gonna sell it because I don't need two donkeys. So that's what that's in here for. And that shouldn't be in here too long. And this will be going pretty soon. I'll just put it together now and show you what it looks like. So here is my makeshift Steelcraft uh, Strider Plus slash Baby B capsule. <laughs> so it was so now we have a clean nursery with no prams in it. This is what I'll do with the nursery when I'm sewing because I need to get like the fabric over here. Sometimes I'll leave like a few prams in here, but generally I'll just take them all out and leave the donkey in here. Just that let's start, like I said at the door, we'll open this cupboard and I'll show you what's in here. My nursery is not perfect. It's not perfectly cleaned. It is what it is. So up here I have Tyler's pillow, my boppy, a play mat, and a few blankets that I don't use too much. This is a, a quilt cover that I got for Tyler. This is a blanket that mom got me and this is my Disney thing that I broke. You guys are probably gonna see my thumb. I literally just broke it and I'm so annoyed. I got them done like a few days ago. It's really frustrating. After the blankets, just down here, these are Liberty's clothes. So these are Liberty's tops and pants and then like shorts are back here and little tights and stuff. Then in this cube we have like overalls or um, pinafores, jumpsuits, all of that stuff is there. And then these are all like onesies, like, um, you know, like with the snaps at the bottom, short onesies, I guess. Then, oh, and this one, these are like sleepers, like long, long onesies. And these are like jackets. Then on this row, we have the big, thick, furry blankets. These are sheets and blankets mostly for Tyler. This is a cot sheet and these are bassinet sheets. And I think in behind there, there's some um, like, like, so these are like the really fluffy blankets. These are like the medium warm blanket <laughs> blankets. And then these are like the Muslim thin wraps. Then down here we have Onyx's pants and shirts and there's his little shorts at the back. I really do love these cues and they're like perfect for this cupboard. Like you can see there's like this much at the front. These are Onyx's onesies and jackets at the back. And in this one, these are Onyx's sleep suits and little overall things. I'm just thinking this now, I have no idea why in 
celebrities. She has the um, overalls in this one and the jumpers in that one, and he has the overalls in that one and the jumpers in that one. It just doesn't really bother me. Then at the bottom we have my black maxi cozy capsule and my pink maxi cozy capsule with the bugaboo donkey capsule adapters. So that's what's in that cupboard. At the top, I just have a TV up there because I'm storing it. <laughs> we'll start at the top here. We just have like a basket with little toys in it. Little lovey toys. And then my mom got me this. At the top, I have all my bottles. And just kind of little pieces. So there's bracelets, there's a little teether. Teats, I thought that I was going to be able to use them, but they're the wrong ones. Normally I have my hairbrush and conditioner in here, but it's in the nappy bag right now. This is just a little spray for essential oils in case like a perm smells funny or something smells funny. Then down here I have disposable nappies that I have had these for so long. I'm sure that someone remembers these. I bought half of a packet and I still haven't used them. This is my baby talker boxes. All my dis, um, not disposable, reusable nappies are all in here at the top. And in this basket, this is my making dummy basket. So it's got felt magnets and like the glue that I use, plus like a few packets of dummies. So that's what's in there. Oh, and like baby powder and stuff for when I had the silicon. And let's go around. This is my little hedgehog. He's kind of cute and I didn't want there to be a blank space. These are all my little bows for um, decoration. <laughs> I don't know who I put a bow in, but I just literally haven't used them. I just use headbands. These are all my dummy chains, either ones that I've made or ones that I have bought or been gifted to me or something like that. Then we have the cubes. So these cubes are for Nixon and Alora. So this is Alora's. These are her pants and her tops. This is Nixon's pants and tops. And then onesies, like short onesies and dresses. And short onesies, that's a set, so I left it together. And jackets and like little sleepers and this is like a jacket and <laughs> and overalls and then this is um sleepers onesies and jackets i don't know why there's two but there is <laughs> and then this is like all the big fluffy suits so they're all in there and this is liberty's shoes <laughs> And then there's a few others thrown in here, like this set <laughs> and this set. That's, that were cute and I liked them. So that's what's in those. Then we come over here to my little friend. I just, again, there's like a spare spot there. So I put these two there. And in here are my dummies that are either for the real cares or that still have all their teats. This is hats, exploding hats apparently. These are all hats in here. You guys know I don't use hats, but this is how many hats I have. <laughs> then these are girls socks or like these little sandals that I sewed up to fit Liberty. And these are her, like, her little high knee sock things. And then these are like boy socks and mittens and little booties down here. So that's what's in those. And then the wardrobe. This bit's a little bit messy, but it's kind of just everything. Okay, overview. This is my fabric drawers. This is Tyler's porter cot before we got him this cot. 
this is my fabric stashes. I've got some bubble wrap in case I have to send anything. This was, um, Spotlight did like a spend 100, pay for 60. So I stocked up on wadding because I'm always using that when I make prime liners. Here are all my templates. This is my donkey um, side basket. I used to put it up in there but it got squashed so I didn't want it to be squashed anymore so that's the oh quick I'll just chuck it in there this is Tyler's old little seat and I really love it and it's again just there I'm not gonna show you all my fabric it's just fabric like yeah <laughs> that I use when I sew things then at the top I have more wadding and more stuffing then if we go to this side there are boxes for me to post stuff away that's all my postage stuff like the spillover they're all um, patterns for when i sew things that is some old formula that's out of date that i'm going to use one day for role play there's an iron a spare one um these that's just random kind of stuff in there this is a bunch of giveaway stuff I'm planning on doing giveaways when COVID settles down and I can actually post stuff around the world because a lot of my subscribers aren't just in Australia. These are my bibs and burp cloths and a few singlets in there. This is like my crafty stuff. So I've got like, well, I had a hot, oh, there it is, a hot glue gun. I've got pegs. I used to have all my spray paint and stuff, but then I found a new location for that, but it might go back in there. These are my scales for when I send parcels out. This is my little toolkit for when I'm working on stuff. These are my postage supplies for when I post stuff. Then these are just some of my shoes that I had and some of my products that are being made. Um, just like when I was going to markets, but I'm not doing that anymore. This is just a box of just fill it up stuff. So that's got like my gimbal and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, then it gets really exciting down here. This is a car seat. That's two maxi cozy bases for my maxi cozies. And that is the hood for my Bursa. So I think the messiest is over now. <laughs> Now we're up to my little toy hanging area. I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. I wanted a way to be able to display all my toys. So that's pretty cool. Then we already looked at my donkey. Now we're over here. This is my nappy bag, which has, I think it has like a muslin and it has my brush and conditioner spray in there. Um, maybe it has some cream clips on it so just general stuff in there then this is my like pram going out basket so these are all the accessories that I put on the pram so toys little clips to help hang bags on little pram garlands um, little more toys uh, uh, caddy for the pram so that's like a getting ready to take the babies out box when I accessorize my prams this one is kind of for Tyler it was when he was younger this was like his nappy state um, na nappy changing bin but he doesn't really use these nappies anymore I don't think so that might be getting changed and this one literally has nothing in it right now. I added all these cubes and now I don't know. <laughs> well, we're down here. A WD-40. I have satin black and gloss, uh, satin black and matte black. And then a gold spray paint in there. I'm thinking I might put them back in the other side, but that really just depends. Then in here I have batteries in here. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, that's like a it's got Oxy 10. You can't see. It's got Oxy 10, a um, toothbrush, and some wipes and stuff. So that's when I'm like cleaning the babies. These are all my documents and stuff for the real cares or whatnot. These are my beading things, and I 
don't even know what's in here. Well, this is my real care stuff. I patched it back up with cable ties. <laughs> Okay, now you guys can see again. I hope that the audio was good. This is my printer on top. This is my paper and I just kind of grabbed that. So when I'm like sitting at my desk, it looks pretty. When I'm standing, you can see this paper in there. <laughs> this is stuff for my printer. This is like soldering stuff. This box doesn't have anything in it yet. I just kind of have it because I don't know what else to put up here. And these are actually giveaways that are ready to be done. I've been wanting to do a giveaway for quite some time now, but due to COVID, I can't actually ship things. I'm not sure what's accepting, like shipping, what countries are and what aren't, but this is what I had uh, planned. So let me just like show you the little gift pack. I thought it was like sweet. Oh. Oops, it's coming apart. So there's a little Pooh Bear nappy or diaper, a little Dumbo onesie, this little handmade teether that I made it. So, and this little dummy chain is only for rebounds. I also made that. And then I had this little dummy with it and a set of strap covers. And I thought that this would be a really cute giveaway to give to somebody. So I'm gonna run this on my Instagram. My Instagram is exactly the same as my YouTube channel. So it's Shabelle's channel. And if you want to enter that, I will be running that for this week. All of the details will actually be on the Instagram post because this is filmed um, like in front so I'm not sure what the dates will be. Oh, I will show you the full onesie. There you go. It's a little long sleeve onesie with little Dumbo on it. I like appliqued this on there. So it's kind of cute. I figured that I would like to give back to you guys because I really appreciate your support. And <laughs> I've wanted to do this for a while, but like I said, due to COVID. So now we know what's in these little parcels. We can go on to this table. This is my sewing machine where all my beautiful creations are made. My cool table that I vinyl wrapped, I love it. And here you guys aren't probably very interested but this is all my sewing stuff. Then I have my dummy boards. This is my latest dummy board. I've actually finished it now. So I did a video on it, I'm like, oh, it's done. But then I decided that I really had to put these little hooks down the bottom because I had so many headbands. So I put all these hooks on it, just like the other one. So the other one is just here. But I really did still want to put a frame around it. I really just haven't done it. <laughs> and I don't know why everything in this room is gray and white and they're black and gold. It just, it is what it is. It kind of just works. Then we have this one again, but at the bottom of it this time, we have all of my beaded dummy chains, which I think is cute. It gives them like their own little place. So that's what is there. Then we have my new little shelf that I put up. It's just a shelf. I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet, but that's what's there for now. We have Miss Liberty um, on the little furry there with the cutest little outfit ever. So the last thing in the nursery are these tubs. I love them. They match the um, marble on my table and on there as well, because I vinyl wrapped them. Instead of just like plain tubs, they would look so boring, but they are plain tubs if you turn them around. See? <laughs> in here are my bugaboo donkey accessories and like, here are the aprons for, I think, the buffalo. And then there's like rain covers and like straps for the car seats and stuff like that. So it's mainly bugaboo hoods. In the middle one, there is of course some more bugaboo hoods. <laughs> and I've actually got my real care babies in here at the moment. 
just that I'm not using them a heap, but I put them in their original outfits and I popped them in this crate all um, wrapped up and protected. I'm gonna grab them out and charge them up soon just to look after their batteries. And then in this one is kind of just everything. It's all of my Hungry Caterpillar stuff that I wanted to keep as well as all the stuff that I bought for Tyler when he was little and he's now outgrown but I don't have any babies in that size. So it's kind of like all size one or maybe size two stuff. Then some little shoes. There's like the bowls from his little Mickey Mouse pie chair that I have in the cupboard. And just some like mostly all my hungry caterpillar stuff. So that's kind of cute. But that's all in there. And again, it's just like safe and I don't use it too much. So it's in the end tub. So that is a tour of my nursery and how I use it when I'm sewing versus how I store my prams. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that you guys have requested it for a while and I'm sorry that it's taken me a while. I wanted to have the nursery perfect, but when is anything ever perfect? Like, I don't know. I hope that you really enjoyed it and if you really did enjoy it, please make sure that you do give me a big thumbs up and that you do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.